Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and Space Station Live. We're here inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room, where the flight control team is watching over systems on board the space station. In space, the three members of the Expedition 36 crew are more than halfway through their day, having started at 1 a.m. Central Time. They are flight engineers Chris Cassidy and Russian flight engineer Alexander Masurkin, as well as Expedition 36 commander Pavel Vinogradov. The crew has just over a week left to have the space station to themselves before their crewmates, Karen Nyberg, Fyodor Yurchikin, and Luka Parmitano, launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan to join them on May 28th. Today, each of the crew members spent the bulk of their time focused on one specific task on the Russian side of the station. That was the disassembly of their treadmill exercise equipment, which Vinogradov and Misurkin were tearing down so that they can replace it with a new treadmill delivered on the Progress 51 cargo vehicle, which arrived on April 26th. On the U.S. side of the station, Cassidy spent several hours this morning working on the combustion integrated rack, which is an experiment hardware intended for use specifically with combustion-related investigations. In particular, lately, the combustion integrated rack is being used for the flame extinguishment experiment, which assesses the effectiveness of fire suppressants and microgravity and aims to provide definition and direction for large-scale fire suppression tests and aid in the selection of fire suppressants for future spacecraft. Today, Cassidy did some routine maintenance work on the combustion integrated rack hardware, to allow those experiments to continue. He replaced its fuel reservoir and the igniter tips that ignite the fuel in the experiment. And he also replaced the multi-user droplet combustion apparatus. Now the team here on the ground is doing a final bit of work to get the hardware up and running again, and they'll be restarting the experiment later today.